Do we obsess a little too much regarding the sharpness of our images? The reason I pose this question is that I've not sharpened images for many years, and sometimes I do the exact opposite by simplifying them, removing detail. I've used this technique quite a bit over the years because it's done the job and it's gone unnoticed. Here's an image from a Canon R5. And when we have an image that contains lots of detail, thousands of leaves or lots of fine detail, perhaps there's too much information for us to take in. In that case, I sometimes turn to Topaz to simplify the image. This image is higher resolution, it's not been resized in any way from a Canon R5, but it's pretty typical of our forest scenes where it's packed with detail. Let's start by copying our layer on the right hand side or our layer thumbnail with Ctrl J. That's going to give us some opportunities once we've applied the filter. So let's go to the filters menu, Topaz Labs, Topaz Simplify 4, and I'm just going to select the basic buzz sim filter. Now when I do that you can see the effect it applies is a bit too heavy for what we're looking for here, but it has a place. If you look over to the right hand side, the important part of this filter is simplify size. Now I tend to move this 0.33, which is the default, down to something like 5 or 7. And that's 0, 05 or 0, 07. But what I'll do on this occasion, because I know some of you are watching on small screens like iPads, I'll just push it up a little bit just for demo purposes. But in normal circumstances, I would be 0 0.05 or 7. Now we can check out what we've done here by going to the top left and we can look at a before and after. And even with that delicate setting, it's looking pretty good. And if we're not entirely sure, then we can improve the size of the image and we can do the same thing again. Once we're happy with the changes we've made, we can go to the bottom right corner and open this into Photoshop. But there's one other thing that this filter often does. It adds a little bit of extra colour. So what I'd like to do is to just drop that down. Well, colour is a personal thing, isn't it? How much we include in our pictures is going to be personal. But I usually drop the saturation boost down just a little bit, but then we can open it into Photoshop. Now with the image opened back up into Photoshop, it may be worth mentioning that the converting of this image from a high resolution into a filtered image may take a little while. After all, there's a lot of pixels to work on. But what we've got here now in the layers palette on the right hand side is the ability to turn that layer off so we can still see a before and after. So we get the opportunity to choose our setting we applied in the Topaz filters but we could also reduce the opacity of the filtered layer here to mix with the unfiltered below so we can even now temper the amount of effect that we want to apply to the image. On this occasion, let's assume that it's the entire 100%, but we can clearly see there's a nice difference between the two. Now, as I turn that top layer on and off, we should bear in mind that the filter effect that I've applied here is a little bit heavier than I would normally apply. But I hope you'll agree it's having quite a nice effect and it's having a positive effect too. Here I have switched to a different image, but I've applied the same filter effect as the previous one. The difference here is that we can apply a layer mask to our filtered layer. If we then select black as our foreground color and a soft edge brush, we can mask parts of the simplified layer to allow sharp aspects from the layer below to show through. So this simplified technique is not unlike removing color to create a black and white. 
because there we are simplifying the image in a very similar way. It's also a technique that we won't use all of the time, of course, but it's one to keep up our sleeve for those times when it's a benefit. Photography is an art. If softening an image improves that image, then so be it. I'll see you next time.